enter the school, we still retain our First Amendment rights. It has been proven many times that students still have freedom of speech and religion while at school and throughout every aspect of their lives. Our rights are protected by Supreme Court rulings such as Tinker v. Des Moines, in which the ruling has gone in the students' favor. Courts and government laws do everything they can to ensure that we do not lose our First Amendment rights when we enter the school building. Freedom of religion has two clauses, which include the Establishment Clause and the Free Exercise Clause. The Establishment Clause prohibits the government from favoring one religion over another and ensures that everyone has equal opportunities to practice their beliefs. The Free Exercise Clause protects religious beliefs and the actions taken regarding those beliefs. The freedom of religion is what separates the United States from other countries and makes our community so diverse. America was and continues to be a sanctuary for those looking for religious freedom. Freedom of speech clause prohibits the government from banning spoken words and speech because it does not agree with the message. Freedom of speech in a self-governing society dictates that the citizens act with respect, responsibility, and self-control. The United States needs this freedom because without it, a democracy could not and would not survive. If a democracy is for the people and by the people, everyone should have a voice in this country. It is essential to have free press in our country so that we know what is truthfully going on in our country, not what the government wants us to know. The founders of our country saw free press as an essential right to ensure justice in government and the liberty of citizens. Free press enforces the idea of equality. Ordinary citizens deserve the same equal opportunity to receive truthful news that people in the government have. It is only right that we do not receive half-truth, distorted news, and the free press ensures that this won't happen. The right of the people to peaceably assemble means that citizens have the right to meet and discuss the injustice or weaknesses of the government. An important aspect of this right is that people do not have the right to violently protest their beliefs. They can, however, meet peacefully and talk about how they feel towards the government and any other ongoing issues. This is tied into our freedom of speech because we are able to represent what we want as long as we are nonviolent. A redress of grievances is the right to petition and or make a complaint to the government. Also, another right that we are given with this clause is the ability to seek the assistance of the government. All of these rights give us the liberty to do these actions without being arrested or tried in court. This is only true if the people are trying to protest unlawful actions done by the government and when they seek to change or amend unjust laws.